This goes out to my Skype student, Frank. Never heard this song, or this band, for that matter. Real catchy. Touches of Weezer, Blink-182, some different poppy vibes to it. I really liked it. So, uh, with uh, some adjustments from what your Skype video had, Frank. Standard tuning. And on this intro, I really like this intro. It's real choppy. We need 9, 11, 12, DGB. And keep it uh, staccato, so we gotta go. You don't want to go. Keep real quick, tight rests in between. Just karate chop it here. And you can lift up pressure here too, or both. Four times. 11, 11, 11, DGB, same thing. And then 9, 9, 9, eight times. Again. through all of it if you want. Next guitar comes in. There's two guitar parts. At some points I think there's three. We're gonna go 7-9 EA. This is just a B5 power chord. Hit them both. Then go 6-6 six, six, EA and 8-D. Hit those three. And then 4-6 EA. Or you can go 4-6-6 six, six, either way. That's gonna go twice. So. That's being played over that intro, right? And then the next part comes in, 7, 9, E, A, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Or 1 and a 2, E, and a. Same concept here, but go 6, 6, 8. So it's, call, it's following those intro chords um, so far. And then this time go, just take that whole chord shape, which is an E flat 5 with a B flat bass, move it up a half step, and that's a E5 with a B bass, same strum. It's way up. 4, 6, E, A, same strum. And then back to 7, 7, 9, E, A, D, same strum. So we have and then go up to 7 9 E A, same strum. And then go 9 A, 11 D. Try to mute underneath string 6 with the tip of this finger because we're strumming, right? You don't want it to go. So muting is just as important as the notes you're playing when it comes to learning guitar. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. 1, and a 2 E, and a 3 E, and a 4 E, and a... That's a full measure of strumming. And that repeats, so... Makes me want to go, do you have the time? Out there. All right, so 
like I said, that goes twice. Then we go into the clean channel, and it's following similar to what we just did. Some altered ba um, root note stuff. 7E. I believe this is palm muted, pretty sure, and this is clean channel. 1E and a 2E and a. Or, easier to just think, eight times. Same thing on 6A. Um, then same thing on 7A. So we have... Right? Um, yeah. Then uh, same thing on 7E. So... And then back to 7A, same amount of times. Um, then up to 7E, eight times. Then go to 9A, eight times. And then this unexpected G-sharp note, 4E, eight times. I don't know, to me, I didn't expect that in there, and they fit it in there. So our, here's our outline for root notes. B, E flat, E, B, E, B, F sharp, G sharp. All right? And then you repeat all that, but you don't put in the G sharp at the end of the second one. You just stay on a... Wind up going 16 times on the 9A instead of 8 times here and 8 times here. It's all math right there, really, at the end of the day, depending on how you want to think about it. And then we have enough time here. I think I'll show you the solo, really cool melodic solo. <laughs> G again to, and then go to 6 and then pick the 6 and slide to 8 so we have okay then go 6, 8, 9 on the G and then this part a little tricky if you're not used to soloing and you're brand new it's kind of the fingering setup that might be a little odd, but it makes sense. Nine, pull off to eight, and then pick the six G. So three notes, but we're only picking the first and third. We're gonna snap, and then grab the eight G. So then go eight, pull off to six on the G, and then grab the four G. From there, we jump up to nine B. That'll be our biggest. Um, jump in this solo. So we have. Right? Yeah. Um, so 9B, hit it again. And then I'm trying to remember if there was a pull-off here. Not a huge deal. I don't think so. I think we're going to pick. So it's 9, 9, 7, and then 9G back to 7B. So. And then go 7B, 986G. 8, 9, and then 986, 4. So here's the solo. Okay. So, there you go. New band for me, maybe for you, maybe not for you. But uh, good stuff. Me and Frank are just tearing into the song. Um, like I said, standard tuning subgroup. So we got uh, um, 
most of the rhythm actually this is almost the complete song there's a like I said two guitars and some layered things going on here there you know sporadically throughout the song so um, but have fun with it take your time and make sure everything's clear if, if you're new to soloing this is a good solo to start with because it's melody and um, you know if you can walk away from a, a solo humming the melody I think you did a good job and that's how I feel about this solo time and a place for shred right so um, my email rocking guitar lessons at hotmail.com if you're interested in private guitar or bass lessons with me or vocal lessons with my wife Jolene that's the email you need you can also uh, read up about it on my website rocking guitar and there's a full price breakdown basically 30 and 60 minute lessons per week same day same time each week or bi-weekly um, CBT lessons is another route you can go um, and CT lessons they're very very detailed tabs handwritten um, no stone left uncovered is that the right way to, to put that no I worded that completely wrong but what I'm getting at is they're thorough man I mean you can uh, it has everything like the pick directions fingerings a notation legend of all the techniques in the song subgroups and timestamps for everything EQ um, guesstimations <clears throat> the primary effects in the song they're just detailed that's a CT lesson a CVT is the same thing but it has a video the video gets uploaded to the channel the tabs get scanned and sent as an attachment to your email you can read up more about that on my website and um, that's it be sure to add me on Facebook Instagram and Twitter and that should be in the edits here because I'm not using my iPhone I don't have a um, movie maker editing program on my iPhone yet so Whenever you don't see that, you know, he's using his iPhone and the quality just not that good on it. I'm doing something wrong. You guys know I'm not too computer smart. <clears throat> and apparently iPhone smart. It's supposed to be smartphones. What do they do for the dumb people like me? You know what I mean? So, anyways, admin, all that stuff. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, youtube.com slash rockandguitarsons1. You're obviously on it. Um, just log in real quick. If you're not logged in, subscribe and... Um, if you're a subscriber, send me your requests, and who knows, maybe I'll pick yours next. Also, um, we're doing Q&As on the channel and hitting some topics, you know, that are all music-related. It's going to primary, primarily be what it has always been, guys. The guitar lessons aren't going anywhere. I'm going to keep bringing them. I'll keep, so keep your requests coming, like I said, and I'll write your requests down. I've got thousands, seriously, so, uh, but go ahead and request anyways. Click the notifications icon. That'll let you know when um, stuff's being uploaded here to the channel. All right, so until next time, I'm Mike Gross, rockingcars.com. See you later.